Greetings, people. I come in peace. Can Fury K.O. Usyk? Don't make me laugh. Eddie Hearn, amongst others, think Fury can stop Usyk. Now, come on. Who really believes that? I think Eddie is blowing smoke up Fury's backside. The chances of that happening are slim to none. The reason I say that is that I have never seen him buzz, and he's been hit by much harder punches than Fury. And I know people will say he's been hurt to the body several times. Well, let's get this into context. Who does like to get hit to the body? And out of nearly 400 fights, he's been hurt to the body maybe two, three times? Even if it was five times, ten times, that's nothing comparatively. No, I'm afraid that's grasping at straws. Unless some astrophysical anomaly happens, I don't see Fury knocking Usyk out. I don't think anyone does. Oh, Simon Jordan does. I don't think anyone neutral does. John Fury did say Tyson will bully Usyk, box him, fight him, tear him to pieces, break him down mentally and physically, and then knock him out by round nine. I don't think he's serious. That's how he dreams it would go. That's wishful thinking. I think Fury will try to do those things and stick with what's more successful. I don't see him having the same success as Chizora at bullying Usyk, simply because Chizora is like a bull and probably physically stronger than Fury. See, Fury is gangly, rangy, and will leave himself open if he tries to lean and pressure Usyk in the same way. So he has to go about applying pressure differently. Most people think it will be a points win either side. But I personally think Usyk will be going for the knockout. And I wouldn't be surprised if he got it. I can't see what Fury can bring. I'm sorry, my mind's eye can't envision it. But I thought the same thing about Devin and Ryan. And look what happened there. I hope Varda's working overtime on this one. Fury will try everything in his bag of tricks. But will it be enough? Usyk has seen big heavy boxers before. Maybe not as awkward as Fury, but he's been outweighed and outmuscled many times. Fury hasn't fought a six foot three southpaw with faster hands, faster feet, with an extensive turbine, a substantial engine, pinpoint accuracy and efficiency. I can't see Fury winning, and definitely not by knockout, without extra assistance whether that be alchemically, synthetically, or by legislator. That's the only way he wins in my eyes, through a corrupt committee. I get the impression that Usyk's going to have all the answers. Over 350 fights, lives and breathes it. Absolute professional. He's competent and seasoned. Oh, and this thing about a good big man beating a good little man is becoming a weird mantra. A haunting melody. It's like an enchanting hymn sheet that everybody's singing from. Usyk isn't a good little man. He's an exceptional, unique and extraordinary talent man boxer. I think nobody wants to upset the Furies. So they say these things about size to not really think about the details. I understand when feelings are running high, the anticipation, the excitement, supporting the Brit, that's all great. But we have to be realistic and balanced. It reminds me of when Floyd Mayweather fought Ricky Hatton. Everybody I saw in the media said Ricky Hatton would beat Floyd Mayweather. I can only remember Lloyd Hunnigan saying something different on Sky Sports. He simply said Floyd would win. An excellent boxer will be a good brawler. Something like that. And the interviewer was apoplectic, in shock. It always amazes me how everybody falls in line because they feel it's unpatriotic to pick against their countrymen. I don't think where you're from has anything to do with it. It's not the Olympics, it's not the World Cup, which is about national pride. No, it's simply who you fancy to win in a prize fighting boxing matchup. Interestingly, when asked about size, Usyk says it doesn't matter. If it did matter, the king of the jungle would be an elephant, not a lion. Good point. I admit it's hard to pick a side for some. It is tricky. There's a lot of variables. But all said and done, I'm nailing my colours to the mast on this one. Usyk wins. I have spoken. Thanks for listening. Please subscribe. And remember, 
choose life. Thank you. How gratifying it is to work for the betterment of mankind.